Welcome to the Glazier Studio Tutorials. This tutorial will overview the Glazier Studio navigation. Glazier Studio is divided into three areas. The main menu bar on the left, which contains your project information, databases, reports, and optimization. The projects area that contains all projects that have been created as well as a blank line to create new projects. You can also use the search box in the upper right to quickly search through projects to find the one you're looking for. The project information is on the right. When you select a project from the main center window, the information for that project will appear on the right. If you select the blank line, you can fill out a new project's information. In the upper bar on the right is the catalog selection menu. This allows you to select between available catalogs in the Glazier Studio program. Once you've selected a catalog, you can choose to start a project. You can also choose to review specific information such as catalog parts for that catalog. By selecting catalog parts on the left hand side under the main menu. Once selected, it will show you the individual parts available. You can also select metal groups, and again in the center window, it will show you the available metal systems. There is a menu bar at the top left hand side of the program that allows you to import and export projects, save and create new projects. This is also one of the ways you can exit the program. The tools menu allows you to access options based on the catalog that is selected. When you select the options, it will show you the available settings that you can configure inside of the program. If you select a different catalog, and then select the tools, options, it will show you the settings for that catalog. Then there's the Help menu that allows you to access the Glacier Studio downloads to check for current updates, the DeMichael website, the shortcut keys that can be used inside the program, the ability to upgrade and downgrade levels, to create a new project, select the File, then New Menu, select the blank line in the center of the screen, or select the New button on the far right-hand side. Select your catalog, and then fill out the project information. To start the project, select the Open Folder or Create Project button. The Project Manager window will open. On the left, you'll still see the main menu. In the center of the screen, you will see the frame information. This will list all elevations that have been created for this project. And the frame information bar will allow you to create additional elevations as well as review existing elevation settings. Select your metal system. Select finish. Select the glazing type that you want to use in the job. And then set the frame specific information 
such as the size, panel and row, or the shape, and then click Add Frame to enter the graphics editor. The graphics editor is also divided into three sections, your tool menu, your main editor window in the center of the screen, and your frame information bar. The frame information bar will allow you to make direct edit changes to the elevation by changing the panels and the rows or the width and the height. When you make selections in the graphics editor, the information bar on the right will update with the options for those selections. For example, clicking on a glass light will allow you to change the glass in the opening as well as set the daylight opening width and height. That information appears on the right hand side under the frame information bar. If you select a stick in the graphics editor, such as an intermediate horizontal, on the right in the frame information bar will be the stick properties as well as the horizontal location. Each stick in the graphics editor may be comprised of multiple parts, so when you make a selection in the stick properties, down below is the product code for that selection. When a horizontal is selected, you may also change its position by typing in a new horizontal location. This is its position from the bottom of the horizontal to the finished floor. You can also enter the top or center line of that horizontal if you make the selection from the radial button. Some of the more commonly used functions are listed on the left hand side in the tool menu. In this menu, you have the ability to insert doors, such as double doors, left or right hinge doors. You can also insert vents. You can do stick inserts, such as inserting horizontals, verticals, or grids of horizontals and, vert and verticals in an opening. You can delete selected sticks, reverse joints or joineries, or cut a stick. At the top of the screen are a bunch of drop-down menus. They contain the other commands that are available inside the program. The project menu contains the project manager, the ability to save or exit the editor. Frame menu contains things like new or undo, copy, copy and reflect, or just reflect the current frame, add notes, add parts, change structural parameters. The stick actions menu allow you to do commands based on selection of the physical sticks such as selecting a back member, moving a back member, inserting, deleting, cutting, extending, or even freeing sticks in the graphics editor. The view menu allows you to change the graphical view, such as detail view, uh, camera angle, changing the lighting. You can also add notes, create Revit information, or view structural problems. The curtain wall settings allow you to set anchor points, move and delete anchor points, or set splice locations, move splice locations. The out of square editor deals with creating shaped elevations or shapes that are out of the standard rectangular squares. You can do things like justify sticks left, right, top or bottom, tilt the stick, move a corner or a perimeter segment, align the horizontals with the head or the sill, fan verticals, 
or insert shapes. The fabrication menu allows you to view fabrication locations on specific sticks as well as the fabrication locations on the entire elevation. The help menu gives you access to the shortcut keys screen as well as the contact information for the Demichael group. There are also three toolbars, one in the tool menu on the left. They have a select tool, a zoom extents, an undo command, and detail view. In the bottom center, there is the graphic editor navigation bar. With this navigation bar, you can select the normal selection tool, the focus tool, which allows you to rotate around an elevation, the orbit tool, which allows you to rotate an elevation on its center axis, the zoom in and zoom out functions. You can also use your scroll wheel to zoom, your zoom window, zoom extents resets the view, and the pan allows you to grab and drag left and right. In the upper right is the frame information toolbar, which you can create a new elevation, save an elevation, copy an elevation, take a screenshot of the current view in the graphics editor, reset panels and rows, or review the help menu. Thank you for watching the Glazier Studio tutorials. For more information on our program, you can see some of our other tutorials on this website or contact the DeMichael Group at 480-985-4926 for assistance.